Yeah, he's done. Did you do his hand? His hand. I don't know. Just like <laughs> So just again, reaffirm that message. All right. 
Obviously, with the weather, you know, we will rotate through, as we normally do. We'll rotate through up the pitch for mid eight, nine, ten minutes. You know, today's game, boys, is going to be about run. It's going to be a run and carry, run and carry. You know, we've worked these conditions of training, haven't we, the last three or four weeks. You know, kicking into the wing, let's get back, get numbers back, run and carry. You know, if we lose the toss today and we kick into the wing the first quarter, everybody plays up a line. Wingmen play up, you know, on the defensive side of the wing. Uh, forward play, flankers play up as wingmen. Forward pockets play up as hard forward flankers. Okay, everybody pushes the line up. If you want to work up, get the footy, and then we need to carry it back out. So we need to be running with the footy and giving options outside the ball with bikes running into space. Okay, so let's make sure that work rate, that protect the footy when you've got it in your hands. You know, kicks are low, keep the options well. The kick is we just want to make sure that again, put the smart with their decisions. Roll your eyes. You know, if they sit comes back inside that 45 metre area, roll your eyes. Have a look at where you are popping up, you know, popping up through. Have a look at the loose player. Midfielder might be that's going to be short across that half forward area. Lower your eyes. Don't just glaze in to that hole at full forward because you're going to turn the footy over. Okay? You know, again, D Mac will push forward. It helps us rack and push, pushes back the player loose. D Mac pushes forward. He plays mm -hmm. no respect. You've got a second centre half forward, standard centre half forward that you use. You know, that's made a real good decision for the footy. Okay? Luki, at different stages, Luki, you'll sort of push up. No, no, that's good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Different stages. You know, get your push up for half forward play for second turn half forward. Yeah. You know, you might find at some stage you may need to go back and play as a, as a loose defender for you for half forward. Okay. So you might find that you you might even get one in the green unless they're back. Right. So let's make sure that again, you know, last week we had three or four real good avenues of goal because we lowered our eyes and look for our options. You know, Dylan Murphy put some fantastic leads on coming out of the square. You know, Disco's got the opportunity and the ability to do that. Bainers, Jesse Rush, we've got five or six real good options with Leroy and Luke as their two forward options to make sure we export. You know, forward line, you've got to spread, you've got to play wide. Okay, you can't all just bunch. I'm you know, 30, 40 metres out at 10 half 40. You can't do that, okay? Their defence is really dour. They're really, really solid, but we expose them because they don't have a great deal of pace. Okay, and they don't have a great deal of ability to, to rebound the setup. So we've got to expose them, we've got to get them in one-on-one -on -one situations where we keep the ball with advantage of our player. You know, that can be Lee, that can be Phil. You know, we, we're going to use that space for us. You've got to work your ass off to kick it to the right area. And you've got to work your ass off to get in the create. When you start, you come out and put forward, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there is. We spoke about the mids a bit. You know, the mids will sit in that trial area, so we've got to make sure that we push the ball forward so that our mids get back and are accountable on that rebound, okay? Because we've got to protect the rebound. One thing that they were really good at, there's two things in their game that they're, they're fairly good at, but they're really showing healthy respect for. One was their ability to, the, you know, their defensive ability has been pretty good at um, And number two was that 90% of their scoring comes from an uncontested kick through the middle of the game. So that means that nobody's you know, got back and been accountable to their opposition midfielder. They get the footy through the middle of the ground and it's a hit up lead. And that's 90% of their scoring and some hit up leads. So conditions like that are today, we've got to make sure we third up the contest, we've got to make sure the pressure through that midfield is unbelievable. We've just got to fucking torch this model. Okay, you've got to light the torch so hey boys and apply it. Because under that pressure they will not hit targets, which means you're taking 90% of their scoring capability away. Okay, so let's keep that really firm focus on that. So that's enough about them. Let's just again do a look out through some of our things. You know, keep it simple for us. You know, ball movement. Again, like we have a training. You know, we get numbers down to where the contest is. We get numbers to contest the footy. Grand finals, pressure games, you know. Contested footy, tackle counts, pressure that you can exert on the opposition, and the ability to execute. Right? Winching, pressure games. So let's keep our game simple. Get to where the fucking ball is. Right, don't find space and just stick your hands in the air and want someone to kick it to you at 40, 50 metres. It's where the footy is. Use what God's given us, what our strength is, and that's the ability to run and carry. Okay, support for each other, boys. And our ball movement, know your eyes. We have 100% options all the time, 100% options. In this league, don't try and take, you know, we want to take risks to play on, but we want to make sure our kicks are protected and are, and are two right options. Okay, so yeah, risk is play on, get around the bike on the mark, you know, get a handball over, a protected handball over, a protected kick in to create a loose man. You know, risk is taking that, risk is running off and being the third man over the top of the contest to get a spoil on. You know, we spoke about fish before, the bike is part of about 6'3. If he goes down, he will push forward into their, their forward line 
That means we've got to get a third man. Bishops are going to be able to go from the air, so it means somebody's got to peel off their man and be prepared to come third over the top of that contest because he will try and isolate himself and call for the footy up in the air. Okay, so someone's got to be brave enough to leave their man and be the third man over the top of that contest. Okay, that's risk. That's risk taking. Alright? Let's make sure our disposal is composed, is really well thought out and executed. Okay, these conditions are going to be really tricky. Don't try and do anything too flash. You know, take your risk in the complete, take your risk in playing on, take your risk in running for each other and carrying it. Okay? But if you kick it back in through the middle, I'll make sure it's an 100% option, to make sure it's a low flat kick. Okay, when we go against the wind, you know, even with the wind, there's no reason why the footy should be set up in the air, 30 metres in the air. That's keeping it nice and low, that's keeping it flat, it's putting it out in front of our players. We want to learn what we expect. Okay, we don't want even with the wind, we don't want to sit up because it just creates, you know, the ball sits up in the air three seconds, it just creates a contested situation. You know? Got to make sure we use it right. Run, 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 boys, we spoke about it. Run, 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 run. You know, we went in fairly small today, we took the, we took the uh, well, the gamble that we planned to play a good running game of footy. So everybody probably rotate through some stage on the spell. Run, run, run. Okay, run, run, run. 60 plus tackles last week, 72. 72, it's going to take 72 plus to win the game today. You know, I really reckon this one got a free ride last two weeks. I had no fucking pressure put on them whatsoever. There was that much time and space in this game last week. It was like watching Fitzroy and Quines. Okay, they made good use of it. So as I said, we show them healthy respect because we give them time and space, they'll use it. But you guys today, fucking tackle, 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 right? Tackle from behind, forward pressure, run them down, run them down. Okay, nothing different to what we've done during the year, is it? Our pressure's been our strength. You know, today, pressure will win us a game of football. Make no bone about it. Two hours of us putting on the pressure we know we're capable to deliver will win us a game of footy today. 70 tackles, boys, 70 tackles, okay? I've spoken about getting down to look at it. I've spoken about lowering your eyes. 100% options we've spoken about. Third man over the top. We know that we want to get that third man over the top as much as we can. Discipline, boys. Discipline. You know, look, <coughs> stick, your, stick your head over the ball. Stick your head over the ball, boys. It wins. Again, pressure games are fully won by contested ball. They're won by the side that's prepared. To, you've got to wear one, you've got to wear one. If it's a bump, hip and shoulder, an elbow, a snipe, you've just got to wear one today. You stick your head over the footy. And if we go to Ben straight, okay? You know, that's been strong, that's been strong in our demonstration, that's okay, but it's grab a jumper and throw something in the ground. Don't swing your arms. Don't swing your arms. Don't get set off. We can't afford to play one man short because we've been sucked into coming in late, being the, the retaliator, right? Not really making any difference with the, 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 the short punch or the throw of the arm, but then we get one man short. Okay? If you're going to demonstrate, grab a jumper, you throw it on the ground. Alright? Control the aggression. You know, control the aggression. Okay? Same as our tackle can. Now, we played them at their ground, didn't we? Round 18. Right? What happened when we said at half point, we said, fuck this, we're just going to step it up here and really put some pressure on them and start tackling them and put them on the ground. What happened in the third quarter? They won. They fucking did, didn't they? They didn't want to go near it. They didn't want to put their head over the footy because they knew one of you blokes would grab them and tackle them. Okay? Don't do the same today, boys. It's going to be the same today. That pressure's got to be strong. The aggression has to be controlled. Footy for 19 weeks, we find our game for 19 weeks. We've made sure that we've got a good belief in the way that we go about it. We've made sure that anyone that's got our way, we've fucking taken them out of the equation. We hunt them down today. They've got a ball in their hands. They're free game. They are free game. You're going low, you tackle properly, you get around their waist, you win a free kick. Okay, you don't have a better quality of umpire today. They're going to, you know, obviously, be in the final, they're going to let it go. So they're not just going to play tick and touch free kicks, but they will play if you're going high and grab someone around the neck. Right? They will play if you're going too high and you just, you know, the arms get up high and you drop in an elbow where you shouldn't be putting your arms, okay? So control your aggression. Be smart about your aggression. Okay? Composure. Composure is a massive, massive tool today. You know, it's a game of footy. Four posts at that end, four posts at that end, and the ball runs around the middle. You know, it's a game of footy. Control your aggression. Be smart, be aggressive, right? Be prepared to do whatever it takes, but be composed. Okay? Remember what I spoke about a couple of weeks ago. It takes as much focus on the execution as it does all the other sides of it to get the result we want. Right? Let's make sure that the process is our focus today. Don't ever, ever look at the scoreboard. Right? You know, all year we have the same process. We know, we know our KPIs. We know what targets we need to hit if we're going to win games of footy. 
uh, processes on winning contested footy, it's on winning stoppages, it's on laying tackles, it's on delivering to a target inside footy, not just a high bomb, sorry, inside 50, not just a high bomb. Okay, focus on the process, boys. You know, every contest by contest, minute at a time, that's all we've got to worry about. Regardless of the point of the game, so conditions may, may sort of make the game go out of whack, you know. We know that it's going to be a tough game today. They're going to stick with us for a period of time. I'll back us to break them. At some stage this game, we'll break them. Maybe a quarter, maybe three quarters, maybe three and a half quarters. We'll break them. But you've got to make sure that the focus is on the process because it might take that long. And because of the conditions, it might mean that the game ebbs and flows really, really drastically. So regardless of what the situation is, you your process, you focus on the next tackle, the next kick, the next handball. Okay? We don't worry about the result because we know boys take care of the little things, take care of the process, and the result take care of itself. Alright, the result will take care of itself. So what the plan is, let's get our preparation up right. Uh, it's about quarter past. We'll come back here at about five to two, okay, and we'll get ready to run out three, four, five. Five. <laughs> Put a flag, boys.
Coach, Gav today. Gav, thanks for giving us your time before the game. Um, what, what do you think about today? What three conditions? Um, you know, before Thursday night, steal your resolve in your message to the team about, you know, being really good so far, but you're here to take on the chocolates today. Yeah, for sure, Nick. Um, first of all, like, yeah, the boys before the game are really switched on. They understand what's at stake. We've prepared well. Um, you know, like, we've been really doing it for 11 months now to get ourselves right to go. So, really excited about the occasion. Yeah, in, in, in a reasonably inexperienced team or a young team, experienced coaches yourself, been here before. What was the message to the team in the rooms? Yeah, look, just that. Uh, have a good resolve. You know, be prepared to work hard. It's game footy. Uh, you know, we've put a lot of processes in place over the season. And all we need to do today is execute. And uh, they execute well, we win. Fantastic. Um, one change from the win against Werribee, and that was Eric Dresor out. Um, structure pretty much going to be the same? Yeah, exactly. We, we expected a bit of win, so we wanted to be able to run hard. Uh, so we've gone with a side that can cope with it. Um, and yeah, you know, we had a winning side, we didn't want to make too many changes too. Yeah, Luke Spinney used him in the last game as a bit of a trump card. Can you do the same again today? Yeah, look, we expect Luke to spend a lot of time forward. Uh, I think you might find Luke might spend a lot of time at one end of the ground, depending on uh, how things go. So we don't have an overabundance of tools. We need to push him back. We'll push him back. Yeah, terrific. Um, Fitzroy, they sort of they've had pretty good form in the last couple of games. What are your thoughts about them today, and how are you going to sort of match up against them? Yeah, look, um, defensively they're, they're really good. They're, their numbers defensively are just behind ours in, uh, through the competition. So uh, to win 11 games and, and be second on the uh, uh, lowest amount of points kicked against you, which is, is a good result for them. So um, you know we need to run hard, create space. We do that. Uh, I doubt they have the leg speed to go with us. So. Uh, a lot of what we've done through the year should be on display today. Yeah, fantastic. My first year at the seniors as, as well as at yours. What's it like to play with them? There's 20 junior players from junior play junior footy with this club playing in the club. 16 under four, sorry, four under 19 players. What's it like to be part of a club where they're all homegrown talent? Yeah, fantastic, isn't it? You know, like you can just see the, uh, uh, the the love that the guys have got for the club and being around each other. And it makes a massive amount of difference when a big game and there's a lot on the line. Um, you know, they've really got a good course. To fight for them. Yeah, look, I thought, I just went in the game, in before when he addressed the players, I thought it was a really calm approach um, by the players. They're really confident in their ability, so that should bring home today. Yeah, yeah, look, Nick, you know, that's the thing. I mean, Capoche is going to play a big part of it in these conditions. Ball use is probably going to be as important as the amount of pressure you put on the opposition. All right, we're nearly there, Gav. One more, one more question. I answer this as honestly as you want. Motivation, big, big games. Some coaches want to bring motivators in and speak. At any time, did you think about bringing in any of the under-19 North coaches since they've been so good this year? Yes, mate. I thought they did a fantastic job. Both good you meant too. <laughs> Thanks. All right. All good. Hey, welcome to the uh, D1 2009 back for grand final at St Bernard's Footy Ground. Commentators of today will be Gary Plummer and special comments by Nick Hannett. David Collins has won the toss and kicking to the left of the screen. Uh, pretty windy day, uh, Nick. Uh, probably affect, us, affect the game, you think? Yeah, very windy. We're kicking to the breeze in the first quarter, so we've got to, got to make the most of it. Yeah, certainly do. Um, I reckon it's probably not, not up to about a four-goal breeze, four to five-goal breeze, actually. Yeah, I think at least. It'll be pretty hot and heavy early, so low-scoring games are in fun, so hopefully we can get a get the score. Too right. I hope we can bring home some silverware. Okay. Ford kicks the ball over to the far half of the Justin Phillips runs under the ball, Luke Spinner overruns it and goes out of bounds. Could be out of bounds quite a bit today on here, Nick. Yeah, we've just got to go straight down the guts. David Donald starting on the ball there with uh, Scotty Bradley. Bound to throw in deep in the forward pocket.
Australia bounds in front of Josh, about 60 metres around from Fitzroy's goal. The key matchup you can see uh, there at the minute. Nick? Yeah, I reckon a really good couple of good matchups for us. We've, we've got Luke Spinner deep in the forward line. We've got Dylan Murphy up in the half forward line. Dylan's smart enough to get front and square to the ball as it runs in, but he's also smart enough if he goes over the back with a little bit of this breeze to get there as well. So I reckon that's a good matchup for us. Yeah, mate. The ball was cleared from that uh, throw in there by Jesse Rush. Chased the ball through there, Stuart Gallus. Handball out, taken by Paula Dorsey. Fantastic play by Sangers, and he just held his position well, beat his man one-on-one, -on -one and then just hit the hot spot. It was great. Good play. Yeah, look, he's been probably only about 30 metres out. Got the strong sort of cross, cross the wind boot sort of coming, blowing across towards his uh, left foot. Put the right foot up. Needs to set this up. Far goal post. Kicks. Intelligent kick, but just a bit too far out on the breeze. We saw that in the last game. We've got to make sure we get the goals on the board early. We've got to make sure when the kick ins too, we're always on his side, so the Zane's got to push over and dig up through a play. Jesse Rush marking the kick out again. That's a good kick towards it. It's a hot spot. Tommy West on the move, chasing the football towards the full pocket. Working hard there with Clark Fitzroy, and the ball goes out of bounds from another boundary throw. Bishop kicking to the forward line over the back. 
back. Oh, I'll take a great fingertip mark. Is Jared Pretty. Ellie Yoki sort of across the breeze there. Nick's a tough kick. He's not far out, but still a tough kick. Tough kick, left footer? No, he's a right footer. Right footer. So he might, might do the banana and the winch should help him. So he's only a couple of metres out from goal. So hopefully we slot this one through. Pressure of grand finals. Just go keep it up and hopefully get a couple of goals.
it. The chance they're out. They're out. Fitzroy on the move. Kicking towards half forward. Over Hayden's going to set. Marked by Seddon. Seddon with a quick handball. Out to Stoltz. Stoltz with a quick left foot kick in. Jared Plummer pound, 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 underneath the ball. Bounced over his head. Tracking the ball now. Plummer, good to see him back after an injury. Streaming through the centre of the ground. Kicking the ball towards the full foot. Looking for Pretty. Ball comes over the back. Murphy working out there with Pretty. Pretty running into an open goal. There's the first one, Nick. And uh, good goal. Kicked by uh, Jared. Pretty great work by Jared Plummer. Kicking the ball to the hot spot there. Rippers would go to 1-5-11. Yeah, that was great pressure by, pressure by the back line. They pushed back, they caused a turnover. Back through the centre, Jay Plummer's run off the half-back was terrific. Long kick, pressure back on them. And I reckon today we're going to get most of our goals from the back line because when it's coming straight out of full-back, it's very congested. When there's a turnover and we get back into, into their forward line, there's a little bit more room. And once we attack and get them on the hop, we should score some goals. It was a good play. Yeah, good point. Get them on the rebound. So, Richard's first goal kicker, Jared Pretty. Kicks going to carry the pack over the back. Dylan Murphy running onto the ball. Might carry all the way. Great goal, Gareth Phillips. He's kicked that from 85 metres, Nick. Yeah, look, he's an absolute talent, is Gareth Phillips. That was great. Tommy West then was caught by about 10 metres out on the on the, the overlap. He pushed hard, caught a turnover. Handball out. Fantastic play. Another goal from the back line. Yeah, great work. Emphasising what you were saying there before. Kept catching on the quick turnover. Gareth Phillips getting his first goal. We're going to 2 5 17. Two gas puts a bit of pressure on Fitzroy every time they get a turnover. Do they run and try and make a position or, or do they just try and hold their spot? So, a really good play by Rupert for the last two goals. Yeah, they're really just been trying to waste time to get out to the dead flank, which now uh, find himself 17 points behind, so it might, might be a change of thought. Back in time, he West attacking this ball out towards the wing. Working hard to tackle over there with Keller. Third ball forward taken by Clark and Fitzroy. Around the wing, great smother. Great smother there by Gareth Phillips. Boundary throwing between wing and half court for Rippersford. So an interesting team that taking that position there with Megan again for uh, Fitzroy. Megan actually gets a knockdown taken there by Kale of Fitzroy. Backed up in the tackle. And we'll have another ball up. In the change for Rippersford. Adam Walsh coming on replacing Scotty Bradley. Good to see the old experienced fella getting a run early. Yeah, look, I think it was a great decision to, to, to play Adam. He's an experienced footballer who put his head over the ball and did a sort of plays around him. Certainly, especially on the game. Well, Jared Plummer tackling the ball hard, comes through, taken by Josh Hine, a spearing kick into Lee Brennan, a good mark about uh, 35 metres out. Yeah, great position by Lee. Then he just he stayed back with a 20 out from goal, went straight to the hot spot, and a great kick from the back line again. Well done. Yeah, once again, quick movement into the forward line, catching the Fitzroy guys out. And Lee Brennan with an opportunity for Rupert's third. No problem with the distance. It's all about accuracy. Good contact. Good contact. And he likes it early. Straight over the goal umpire's head. Rupert's would get their third. They go to 3-5. Leading Fitzroy no score. That's 16 and a half minutes into the first quarter. Yeah, great start for Rupert's. Well, they haven't panicked when they kicked the you know, four points in the first eight minutes. They've now really settled, stuck to their game and got a couple of goals and now the pressure's back on Fitzroy. Had a great year in front of goal, uh, Nick. Yeah, probably up around, uh, probably up around our 80 goals on the, on the season, I reckon, at the stage. So, been a fantastic season. Look forward. Playing up the ground a bit too. Yeah, look, he's a super player. One of the, you know, the things for me is you know, having a footy to see a player like him playing for nothing is just terrific. Well, again, so knocked out there by McDonald. Quick kick forward by Biggs and Fitzroy. Fitzroy worked. Oh, great tackle. A bit high, deep a bit high by Justin Phillips on Zika. Zika on the left foot, kicking it out. Atherton and Fitzroy, ball bouncing backwards, Jesse 
rush takes it. Ball comes out the tackle. Handball forward there by Tommy West to Adam Walsh. Unfortunately, ball beating him over the ground. Well, right in front of the scoreboard at seven and a half minutes, but sees Rupertswood leading three five to no score on the Dillawood scoreboard. Boundary throw in. Chess mark Lee Brennan's on in the forward pocket if he can get it to him and he sees him and Lee Brennan marks. Now he's got a chance there. He's a really strong kick into the breeze. Yeah, he's had a couple of shots too now, Lee, so he's got the idea of how the breeze is working, so let's see how he moves this one through. Hopefully Lee can kick into the fourth and his second in the first quarter. Just about uh, ready to tick into time on, almost 20 minutes gone. A handy goal at this stage. It's three to four goal breeze at least. Brennan with a kick. As a smart kick, no problems at all. He kicks his second and Rupert Swood's fourth on the Villawood scoreboard. They go to 4 6 30. Fitzroy yet to trouble the score. Yeah, be beautiful work by Rupert. The defensive pressure all over the ground, including the forwards. He's causing those turnovers and then they're making a play. Great play. Brennan kicks his second to join Pretty and Phillips as goal kickers. That's Gareth Phillips as goal kickers in the first quarter. Ball back in the centre, just ticked into time on. Be a bit of time on with the ball out of bounds a lot. Uh, probably 30 minutes, I'd say. Ball up in the centre. Demac in against me. And again, we're going to get in the knock on this occasion. Taken by Taylor. Handballing backwards. Tail. Ball coming out. Tail. Quick kick out towards the wing. Matty McPhee under the ball. Bouncing high on the hard St. Bernard surface. Handball out there by Zicker. Underground handball going to O'Connor, Fitzroy kicking the ball across the centre. Tommy West intercepting, quick hands by West to Gav Moore. Gav Moore saw Adam Walsh out of the corner of his eye, but he set up for a high kick. Jared Pretty camped underneath it with the ball bouncing forward into the pocket, taken by Phillips. Handballing backwards, only Fitzroy players there, unfortunately, clearing the ball over the back. Brennan, Brennan in position again. Fitzroy player trying to take, trying to take on Todd Pottlesack. There was Clark. Toddy Pottlesack grabbing him up in a good tackle. Great to see those young boys in the game there early too, Nick. Yeah, he stood his ground well then, Toddy, and just saw it coming and, and stood his ground and made the tackle well done. Ball up. Half forward for Rippenswood. Donald gets a knockdown. Ball comes out to Plummer. Wrapped up in the tackle. And we get a ball up. Detroit play wants to go on with it. Through the 
header, long kick towards full forward. He was backed himself there, Brad White in. Unfortunately, Bruce carrying it across for a point. We will keep going to 4 7 31, which we had to score on the Villawood scoreboard. Coming up 23 minutes in the first quarter. Yeah, look, I reckon we're in a great position, Gary. If we can get another couple of goals before quarter time, I reckon we've really got control of the race. Well, at least a four goal Bruce. We've got a five goal lead now. Short kick in again by the pitch. Gav Moore attacking the ball hard. Good mark, unfortunately. Gareth Phillips working hard over the ball. Good tackle. I think he might have called a high tackle. High tackle there against Gareth Phillips. Free kick going to Polidorus of Fitzroy. Kicking the ball in towards Hannah Ford. Fitzroy players spoiling each other. Ball comes back to Polidorus. Good pressure by Gav Moore. Great pressure. Forcing Fitzroy back towards the goal square. Again, ball comes out. Sorts of trouble there, Rivers were working really hard over the ball. Fitzroy player taken there by O'Reilly trying to barge through. High tackle, high tackle. Justin Phillips was it? I couldn't quite pick up, pick it up. Justin Phillips, I think it is Nick. Yeah, just great play. Gab, Gab said two things to the boys before. He said we've got to hunt Fitzroy and we've got to cop a few whacks and they've done that really well. They've hunted the ball, forced the turnovers, and they've copped a couple of whacks and they've had shots of goal. Terrific pressure there by Gav Moore, just precisely what you're saying there, second and third efforts. Anyway, here is Justin Phillips deep in forward pocket. Players underneath it like it. Oh, just, just, just lifting the post for another group from behind their eight. The Villa would score when they go to 4 8 32. Victoria had to score 24 and a half minutes into the first quarter. Victoria full back, playing on again. O'Reilly kicking the ball out towards the wing. Lee Brennan over the back in the best position to mark and does mark. Discipline kicking towards half forward. Ball cut out, taken there by Athens and Fitzroy kicking the ball towards the wing. Jay Plummer camped under it. Uncontested mark on the wing. Probably wants to kick it into the hot spot. He's, he's looking inside, looking inside. Called the play on by the umpire. Waited, had a good weighted, well weighted kick to Tommy West. Tommy West about 70 metres out from goal still. Kicking the ball to Todd Pottlezak. Three on the uh, wing half forward. Pottlezak once again looking at his options. We need to get in that hot spot, Nick, if we can. Yeah, let's get it out right to the fat side. That's the one there. Now we just got to get front of the square. Yeah, Fitzroy players camped under there where the ball was going. They work the ball out. Oh, he has a bounce. Takes him on, takes Ooh. D-Mac on. Under pressure, great smother again by Gareth Phillips. That's a couple of times. Jay Plummer working hard. Gets a handball forward to Phillips. Phillips a handball out the back to Puddlesack. Puddlesack kicking the ball into that hot spot. Only one camped over there for Rippers with Jared Pretty. Mark on Fitzroy over the back. He's moving the ball quickly. The nest of Fitzroy players out there, about four of them. This is Atherton having a bounce, running down the wing. Handball over the top to Polidorus. Polidorus a kick towards half forward. Dave Collins camped under and takes a good chest mark. He won't want to kick it. Handballs the ball off to Brad Whitehead. Evades the Fitzroy player being chased down from behind, kicking the ball out towards McDonald. McDonald marks. Between wing and centre, handball the ball back to Pottlezak. Runs into, under, puts himself under pressure, unfortunately. Ball comes out to Tommy West. Tommy West, ball comes out in the tackle. Scotty Bradley backing up, handball the ball forward to Jay Plummer. Good blind turn and handball out to Bishop. Bishop a kick forward. Got a bit of carry on it, but Mark in defence there by Megan, the ruckman pushing back, filling the hole there for Fitzroy. Megan kicking the ball out towards the half-back flank. Ball goes over the back and out of bounds. Found me throw just on the 45. Yeah, the rotations off the bench have been really good too. It's really hot today, 25 degrees, so lots of rotations, so lots of fresh legs on the ground, which is really good. DJ Palmer coming off this balance, we expect Declan McGovern going to replace him. Ball comes out, taken there by West, I think it is. West from deep in the forward pocket while the breeze carrying it. The breeze, bad luck. Rivers was ninth behind on the Villawood scoreboard. Go to 4 9 33. Fitzroy yet to score at 27 minutes into the first quarter. Get in the goals. Uh, Nick, 9 4 would have been better than 4 9. They've had a lot of the footy. Yeah, it's a tricky breeze too, Gary, so I think that's okay so far. Another one or two would be nice though. Bishop working hard there for Rupert for the footy. Fitzroy running the ball well, comes out to top. Top for Fitzroy, King towards half forward. Puddles that court behind Seddon. Seddon takes a strong mark for Fitzroy. Here's their first real chance. It's not Seddon, it's Kale. Kale kicking the ball into the forward pocket. And a good mark. I think that's Seddon. This time it is. Seddon falling into the mark. And their first.
first real chance of the school Nick. Yeah, look, we don't want a goal. It's worth a couple, so hopefully we miss it. Yeah, tough kick across the breeze. Strong breeze blowing, uh, blowing out through these goals down here. Once it gets away from that protection of the social club there. Anyway, said he's probably only 25 metres out. He kicks it hard through the breeze. There's his kick. The breeze does carry it. Todd Pottles taking a good score from over the back. Gareth Phillips. Running onto the football at half back, got no one to kick to, no one to kick to. Adam Walsh is his only target over the back. Good kick by Phillips, carries Walsh, and that's a win for Rick. Yeah, that was a great kick by Gareth. There wasn't much to go, so he kicked as long as he could and along the line, and now we've probably gained about 80 metres. Yeah, that kick from Seddon just shows you how strong the breeze was. Almost finished up as far away from the goals as it was when he kicked it. So it must be nearly time, 28 and a half minutes, Rickardswood. On the Villa with scoreboard leading 4-9 to no score. Down to throw in, half forwards for Rupertswood. Gareth Phillips having a spell, he's been terrific. Matty McPhee coming on. Luke Spinner in the ruck, ball comes down, taken there by Kale, I think it was. And probably a free kick down to Kale, high tackle. Kale kicking towards the wing. Carry out of bounds again. He's probably left it out of bounds. I reckon eight times he scored first quarter, Nick. Yeah, a lot of lot of mistakes, but that we can't emphasize enough how much how tricky that bruise is. Kick ball, kick over there was by Whitehead, marked by Hayden Spinner into McPhee. McPhee a quick handball off to Hine. And a bit of a mungle kick drifting into the forward pocket, bouncing out of bounds. Deep in Rupert's was forward line at the Max got a tough job today in the ruck. Probably our only genuine ruck man. It's really hot, so hopefully just position himself well, trying to conserve himself for the rest of the game. Yeah, it was interesting watching the second semi final. Maybe use Jesse Rush in the ruck a bit there, so uh, might see that a bit later on the day. Knocked down, taken by Luke Spinner. Turns around, handball, constructive handball into the hot spot. Fitzroy running the ball out, kicked by Kale across the ground, bouncing in the goal screen. Lee Brennan working hard for Rupert's Wood. Ball out of bounds in the fourth pocket. 30 minutes gone, can't be too much longer. Nick, I think No, it must be about to go. Nice goal here, off, off the ruck. Tap it to the back and let's see if we can get a player free. Going to be throwing deep in the forward line, Rupert's foot. We've got a lot of Fitzroy players around the game, around the ball. Um, a lot of congestion there, we'll have another ball up. But, uh, 20 metres out. Siren must be about to go, so the last thing they need is a, a, a score against them. Yeah, just going on the other side of the ground, the commentary side, half forward flank, Rupertswood. Jesse Rush is position doing some front work now, with Daff and Fitzroy. Three kick there down to Fitzroy, but I'm quite played advantage, so I've got to stop his played advantage. Kick forward there by Clark, goes over the back. Dave McDonald camp deep in the back line, handball the ball out towards Collins. Overrun the ball. Like taking Brad Whitehead on. Handball out there by O'Connor going out towards the band line. Picked up by Todd Pottlesack. Steps over the boundary line. Boundary throw in half for Fitzroy. Yeah, great.
great tackle by Sanders. Again, stood his ground. Ducked, the guy ducked his head from Fitzroy and just great tackle. For him. Across 32, 32 and a half minutes. First quarter about to be thrown. Fitzroy's half forward line. In the ruck now, McDonald. Or carries the pack. Fitzroy using a lot of handball in the first quarter to get a free play. Good work again. Ball comes out to Dullard. Breaks the tackle. Handball in. To Daff, Daff about 20 metres out, has a shot, kicks Fitzroy's first score. That's one point on the Villawood scoreboard, which sees Rivertswood leading at 33, almost 33 and a half minutes, 4 9 33. And Fitzroy one, one behind. Soren must be about to go, Gaz. Straight down the middle, let's try and score a goal. Yeah, Brad White with his first kick out for the day. We've got Josh Hine in short, spots in. Hine marking the football, once again another short kick out to Collins, Collins marking, will want to give it, does, does it, Scotty Bradley. It does go to Siren Nick, almost 33 and a half minutes, quarter time in the 2009 D1 Grand Final season. Rupert's were leading 4 9, 33, Fitzroy one point. Goal kickers in the first quarter for Rupert's two to Brennan, one to uh, Pretty, and one to Justin. Yeah, good, good start for Rupert's, but still a lot of feeling in the game. I'll get down there and listen to Gavin, and I'll come up here at the start of the second quarter and let you know what he thinks. No problem, thanks, Nick. Just while Nick's doing that, we've got Ray Spinner, who's been doing the stats. Uh, key uh, kick winners and uh, those featuring on the stat sheet in the first quarter, Ray? Yeah, Tommy West has had a good quarter, very good down the line. Paddy McPhee started a bit of a line. Ended up with uh, five kicks, a couple of handballs and a mark. Lee Brennan had, was in the most of the kicks as well, with his two goals won. Dave Collins was good on the back line. And Garrett Plummer also came up. Okay, thanks, Ray. What's your... What's your thoughts on the game this day? 4 9? Yeah, it's ugly, isn't it? The wind's making it ugly. So we'll just see how uh, good thoughts they get this day. Yeah, they're interested the way they played it. They obviously were trying to limit the damage with kicking it almost across the ground to get out to the, to get to the dead pocket all the way through the first quarter. So uh, hopefully the Rupert's foot can be a bit more positive and so we'll get a few uh, scores on the board down to the um, safety club end. Okay, just while we wait for the bounce of the ball, the second quarter, Rupert's been having kicked with the win, 4 9 33 to Fitzroy, one point. The message at quarter time uh, down there, Nicholas? Yeah, look, Gab was really pleased with the effort, but he focused more on what we're going to do this quarter. They're going to play up the ground, so everyone's going to play a line up the ground. Luke Spinner's going to stay the Lucy um, in defence, so they're going to have an extra down back, and he wants to play on, play on at all costs. Switch it is okay as long as it's 100% on, and just run, 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 and he, he's the place, take it upon yourself when you're tired, rotate through the bench at top. Okay, I see, uh, just following around that, Lukey Spinner done the right thing, he's gone and picked up the big guy Dullard, and he's freed up Jared Tum. Anyway, here we go, second quarter, Rivers with 32 points in front, ball up, knocked out by me, and Fitzroy quickly handball out to Polidurus, handball in the centre, good tackle by Brennan. Kick off the ground there by Yallis in the ruck there. Handball coming forward. Fitzroy plays ring hard over the ball. Pressure by the Rivers with back line out to O'Reilly. 360 kicks the ball towards half forward. Over the back, Hayden Spinner working under the footy. Grabs the footy. Back to Jarrett Plummer, who was the spare man. Plummer looking forward with a kick. Trying to kick it over towards Poddle's act. It was a smart kick. He set the ball up. Gives Toddy a chance to get a boundary throw in. Yeah, great play then, Toddy. He had to go back with the ball and the ball just forced to turn over the stoppage and now got a chance to go again. No fear that boy. Fantastic boundary throw in. Half forward for Fitzroy. Into attack early. Should be Gallus having a run. The ruck comes forward to feet. High tackle on the blind side for the umpire. We'll have another ball up. About a minute or so going in the second quarter. Rush going down forward, Dylan Murphy also in the forward line. Tack down, great tackle by Matty McPhee. Great tackle, Matty McPhee on Biggs. Earns himself a free kick on the wing. Looking to go in. Probably a bit early to go in there, Nick. Yeah, come down the line. Lee Brennan's looking to lead along the line, so. And McPhee take, takes on Biggs. Wrapped up in a tackle. Ha and unfortunately, ineffective disposal. Free kick going to Biggs. Biggs looking in towards the centre of the ground. Kicks the ball towards the dead pocket. A couple of football players in good position. Good mark there. 
for a half forward. And uh, he's probably out wide enough here where he handballs the ball off to Stoltz. Stoltz kicking the ball towards the centre of the ground. Mark in there. On McKay for Fitzroy. And he could probably carry that distance from there, Nick, I think. Yeah, look, it's probably the best position to kick him for right through there in the ground. There's a swirly breeze, but it's the right hand post. He goes straight for it. Sets it up on the breeze, probably a bit too far out. It's got great carry on it. Jared Potter marking the ball over the boundary line. And we'll get a free kick for out on the full. Wants to go on the attacking side. Short kick towards Garrett Phillips. Spots him up. Garrett Phillips marking. Handballing over the top. On the run the ball. Luke has been it back to Phillips. Phillips wrapped up in a tackle. Got himself in a bit of trouble in Rupert's Wood. Kick forward by Fitzroy. One point only. One point only. Luckily there, Rupert's Wood. Yeah, every point's a good point. Brad Whitehead hitting in, playing on. He's probably his target or plumber. Plumber pushing back, standing under the free marking. Plumber looking at his options. He'll probably kick deep, short kick, looking for Bradley. Ball carrying over Scotty's head. Matty McPhee taking them on, kicking the ball towards the wing. Got a lot of carry on at the footy and out on bounds on the full. Free kick to Fitzroy about uh, between wing and half four. Right in front of the interchange bench, kick taken by Biggs. Going inside, disciplined kick, good carry on the breeze, Plummer under footy, he's doing a good job down there reading the ball, goes on, goes on, handballs, out to Phillips, Phillips has only got Gallus to go to, Gallus camp on the ball, unfortunately goes to ground, the Labic from Fitzroy, pumping the ball over the boundary line, yeah, uh, Stewart did well and he went to ground but got straight up and forced it over the boundary line and now we've got a chance to get our numbers to the country. Both going almost on the wing, just on the scoreboard. Down, taken by Fitzroy, dropping the ball on. Jared Pretty working hard underneath the tackle. Scotty Bradley wraps up with the tackle also. Fitzroy quick handball out, on the wing, kick forward. Good lead up the footy there by Borland. First time they called him playing on Josh Holmes, which is probably the key, key go to player Borland. Yeah, it was good set up by our defence in. Jake Plummer has read the ball a couple of times just forward, sitting in the right spot. They came in on the attack, saw Jake Plummer again. Again, good work by Plummer taking the ball out, trying to set up Gareth Phillips. Ball had a bit much carry on a mark there by the Labic. The Labic kicking the ball in towards Taylor. Taylor taking the ball, handballing out. Quick handball forward by Fitzroy, out towards McKay. Wrapped up in a tackle there by Spinner. That's Hayden Spinner. Handball back by Murphy to Collins. Collins tracking the ball in the goal square, four through for a rush behind Fitzroy's second. Sorry, Fitzroy's third, that'll be. They go to three behinds. Charlie Rupert's with 4 9 on the Villawood scoreboard, five minutes into the second quarter. Uh, it, it took Rupert's with eight minutes in the first quarter, goes to get their first goal. The longer we go on and Fitzroy don't kick a goal with the score as it is, the more pressure we put on them. So we've just got to hold them off for as long as we can. We kick out there by Jay Plummer out towards the wing, went to Gallus, Gallus eventually to Collins to Phillips. That's Gareth Phillips, Gareth Phillips to kick into half forward, marked there by Kale. Kale says spots one in the centre, over the back, Lukey Spinner. Bit fortunate there, the ball coming has the kick smothered, comes back to Dullard of Fitzroy, handballing forward to Zicker. Zicker quick hands. Fitzroy, good system running down the ground and just fading to the left. Point to Fitzroy there fourth. They're peppering away down at the uh, scoring end. Yeah, and the pressure will be manning on them. They've kicked four straight points. They've got to keep the goal soon. So we've just got to just hang in there as long as we can before they score their first goal. Leave yeah. to try and score one in the world. Spinner over the back, great mark. Good spinner. So we have a bit of time on the clock. No hurry. Kicking the ball short. Unfortunately, it's marked there by me and me to Fitzroy kicking the ball in towards Ten Hour Ford Plumber again. Mopping up. Good kick this time out in front of McPhee and Walsh. Oh, the, the, the hard ground, the bounce taken there by McKay and Fitzroy. Back in towards the hot spot again. Collins camped under at this occasion. Can't mark. Wraps up the Fitzroy playing with good tackle. Hayden Spinner working hard in there. Campbell over towards Hine. Hine, an intelligent tap to Whitehead. Whitehead going backwards to Plummer. Plummer on the boundary line of both the Fitzroy player. Kicks down the middle looking for Collins. Good mark by Taylor in front of Fitzroy. Handballs quickly. Taylor and Fitzroy gets the footy back. 
options lead by West kick. West, the only, only Riverford player in the contest. Comes out the fifth row player, Dullard, kick in the forward pocket. Working hard there, Josh Hind, forcing boundary throw in. Big crowd up behind the goals there, Nick. Yeah, I think they're all Rupert's wood. I've just heard Gav yell out then. Uh, that was one of the things he spoke about a quarter time. Unless, if we switch, only if it's 100% on. So don't, don't do it if there's a one on two or a one on three. Boundary throw in, Plummer, third man up over the back. Ball comes over to as Kayla Fitzroy comes out, tap, Hine working hard over the ball. Fitzroy playing well, also a good tackle, wrapped up by a couple of Rupert players. Scotty Bradley, second man in. Bishop will probably be in there, I'd say. Also, uh, Nick? Yeah, he'll be in there. Looks like we're going to have three rotations coming off the bench, so nice and quick rotations, keep fresh deep. Scotty Bradley, quick handball out to Collins. Collins trying to give it over the top. Quick kick forward there by Zicker. Fitzroy behind, their fifth. Eight minutes. Eight minutes just ticked over on the ability to score more fits right fifth behind trailing route through the four nine thirty three. Brad White here doing the kicking in this time. Sharing the duties down there with Jared Connor. Kicking the ball on the attacking side. Ball holding up in the bruise, but fair carry. And ball is punched out of bounds. Well, I think he's kicked out a free kick. Yeah, it must be out on the floor. I think the umpire's talking to the umpire, he's talking to the umpire whether it's out on the floor. Strong hands by Stewie Gallus. Gives off to Phillips. Phillips with a quick kick into the forward line looking for Pretty. Ball comes over the back. Pretty using his leg speed. Grabs the footy. 20 metres out. A snapshot. And great goal. Great goal, Jared. Pretty into the breeze, Nick. That is a great goal. That's worth probably three or four goals into the breeze. Fitzroy's heads have just dropped. Great pressure. Great vision by Dylan Murphy. to bring the ball back to the centre. And if they attack the goal, it's nice and open. So we've still got lots of chances to kick goals and get in there quick. Great play. Great play, Stewie Gallus, too. Certainly strong hand, Stewie Gallus, and a quick kick to Gareth Phillips. Set that up, caught Fitzroy on the hop. Jared Pretty kicking his second goal. Ripley's his fifth. We go to 5 9 39. Fitzroy five behinds. Just over 10 minutes into the second quarter. Ball up. Stewie Gallus in the ruck again. Justin Phillips working hard. Quick handball out to West. West a quick give to Murphy. Murphy out in front of Brennan. Deep into the forward pocket. Bandeline's probably going to be beat, beat Lee, but uh, good to see the ball forward in Ruby Foot's forward line again. Yeah, once it gets deep in our forward line, it really puts the pressure on Fitzroy because then it's pretty much man on man. And I'd back us man on man from what I've seen so far today. And down we throw in, 50 metres around for Ruby Foot's going from the social club. Joey Gallus do a good job in the ruck, got the ball down. Fitzroy Clay picked up a pretty quick handball out, Jess Rice working hard in there with a the tackle. Dylan Murphy also in there hard. Scrappy bit of play. Ball, both sides working really hard over the front. Umpire letting him play. Eventually calls for a ball up. Deep on the half court flank. Dallas in the ruck again. Ball comes over, rush over the footy. Murphy in again. Put another ball up. Suits Rupert with this uh, scrappy play ball up over there, Nick. I think so. Every, every, every second we chew up is good. Our forward line setup's great, actually. We've got Lee Brennan about 40 out. But, um, just go about 20 out from that, and whilst you're playing up. So if the ball goes in quick, we've got three quality players that can kick goals. To the move through the handball out towards Chess Rush, who hacked it out of the air. Forward about 40 metres, but unfortunately went out on the full. Uh, we keep going down there deep in, deep in the back line with Fitzroy. And the social club. Picking the ball short, looking for and finding Dullard. Half back flank for Fitzroy. Joe Plummer camped under the ball where it's going to land, I think. So Dullard not quite knowing where to go. Actually, not a bad kick in towards the centre of the ground. Gabriel getting sucked under the footy there. And a mark taken there by Taylor. Very good job for Fitzroy. Taylor kicking the ball short. Dave Coles courageously filling the spot. Marking 
control that ball across the board. Yeah, look, it's a tricky breeze, but out of bounds will take that a few more seconds again. Got a win of changes for Fitzroy, three players preparing to come on. So we throw in on the 45 there for Fitzroy. Ticked over, which we get to kick a goal five behind Rippersford, 5 9, 39 on the middle of the scoreboard. Boundary throw in. That's over, Justin Phillips, where he goes. Good tackle, Jarrett Palmer. Justin Phillips, another good tackle. Jesse Rush in there also. Quick handball out towards Collins. Another boundary throw in. Getting plenty of numbers behind the ball, Gary, which is really good. We've just got to make sure the Fitzroy got numbers back when we come up the line, we just hit the boundary line. Towards their goal again. Here goes Justin Phillips handling the football out towards Gav Moore. He runs the ball over for another boundary throw. This is time about another 20 metres away from the short spot. 11 minutes to go then, second quarter. And a boundary throw in. Gallows at the back, wins the knockout, comes forward to Whitehead. Wrapped up in a tackle. I think he's going to ping him. And he has. Kick there by McKay, using the bruise well. Fading that one back in from the far goal post, giving Fitzroy's first goal. Ball back in the centre. McDonald now back on the ground. Wins the knockout, comes back to Justin Phillips on the left foot. Kicking the ball out towards the wing. Colour from Fitzroy working hard over there. Tommy West, Jared Pretty moving in to put a bit of pressure on. Kicks the ball along the wing. Whitehead over there with Collins. Working hard in there also. Phillips quick hand ball out. Dylan Murphy working over the ball. Taken by Fitzroy. Quick give out to Zika. Zika with a kick in towards half forward. Plummer gets an awkward bounce. Plummer ball comes over the back to Spinner. Back to Plummer. Takes him on. Has a bounce. Has a bounce. Has two bounces. Sees Matty McPhee. And a good kick by Plummer McPhee. Taking a mark at half back. Good work there, Plummer. Carrying the ball into the breeze. Making it, uh, making it safe. Kick it outside 45. McPhee a good mark. McPhee kicking out towards the wing. McDonald under the ball with Brennan. Rush reading the ball well off the pack. Rush no one to go to. Kicks the ball down the line. Unfortunately, out of bounds on the full. Free kick to Fitzroy. Going to Atherton. 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 A few of his Fitzroy teammates up. Imploring him to square it. Yeah. Guy loose in the middle, hopefully they don't find him. Tommy West spots him. Ball is going to carry across to Luke Smith. He carries over his head. Todd Pottlesack, quick handball out to McPhee. McPhee, McPhee on the right foot. Rush pushing back courageously, taking a mark on the wing in front of Atherton. Holds, holds the ball up. Lee Brennan short. Rush kicking down the wing looking for Mool. Great strong mark by Mool in the breeze. Swings around, handballs into McPhee. McPhee takes him on on the left foot. Kicking the ball towards the hot spot. Need a good bounce. Fitzroy player in park back there. Chips the ball out towards top. Taken by Dylan Murphy. Murphy with a kick in towards goal. It's got good carry. Oh, it's hit the woodwork halfway up, Nick. Yeah, look, it was great play. Half forward flank attack through the middle. Run and carries what Gav, Gav said at quarter time. Great pressure there by the forwards and just hit the post. Bad luck. Yeah, good, good work. Good strong kick into the breeze. Did everything he could. Kicking a point there for Rupert with their 10th. Dylan would score, but they go to 5 10 40. Fitzroy 1 5 11. 
17 and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. Good kick out by the fullback, Dave McDonald almost taking a one-handed mark. Wrap up there, the tackle was Atherton. At the back, Fitzroy players working hard, taken there by Baker. Quick give out, comes out to Clark. Clark, untidy hand pass back towards Atherton. Working hard, Rivers with quick kick forward by Lou Brennan. Justin Phillips working onto the ball, runs around the footy, front on tackle, front on tackle, Jess Rush also working hard in there, back to McPhee, McPhee squares the ball in towards Brennan, great kick across the ground by McPhee, good mark by Brennan, probably too far out, Nick, into that bruise I'd say. Yeah, look, really tricky beat, bruise there, um, Justin Phillips fantastic, then put his head over the footy and really the Fitzroy guy should have tackled, went for the big bump, looked good, the crowd liked it, but he got his handball away and got a shot on goal. And Brennan, he's probably not going to get the distance. Sees the move by Dylan Murphy. Carries him. Oh, a great one-handed mark pushing back. Great mark by young uh, young Dylan Murphy. Well, absolute all-class young Dylan. Uh, the longer the game goes on, the more he's going to come into it. He's fit, he's courageous, and he's only 16 years old. What a fantastic player he's going to be for the Rupert Club in the future. Yeah, it certainly is. So, uh, Dylan, he's probably 30 out. Still, still a tough kick into the breeze. Right into the teeth of the wind. around the crowd as Murphy comes in on its way. He likes it, I think. Yes. It's back. It is a goal. Great oh. kick, Dylan Murphy kicking Rupert's Wood. Six on the Villawood scoreboard. They go to six goals, ten to Fitzroy, one, five. Just over 19 minutes into the second quarter. Gaz, that just shows what a great team Rupert's Wood footy club are. Lee Brennan, 45 out, kicks to a 16-year-old kid and takes a one-handed mark and kicks a goal. Thank you, Zach. Good call. That's the future of the club in the Dylan Murphy. Fantastic. Okay, ball back in the centre. Nine and a half minutes about to tick up. Rivers with 6 10 46. Fitzroy 1 5 11 on the Villawood scoreboard. McDonald back in the ruck. Phillips, Gareth Phillips in there. Jared Pretty having a run in the centre also with Gav Mool. Ball comes out, intercepted by Shane Bishop. Bishop kicking towards half forward. Jesse Rush pushing back. Good contest there. Oh, ball comes out to Brennan. Working hard there comes O'Reilly of Fitzroy. Grabbed up in a good tackle. Dropped the footy for mine. Taken by Gareth Phillips. And he's kicked another goal into the breeze. Great kick, Gags Phillips, and great pressure by the Yeah, look, it started with Bishop pu pushing back for a defensive mark, and then it's attack. I'll tell you what, Rupert would have done really well this quarter. They've paid, paid, paid Fitzroy respect and the breeze, but they've also attacked. When they had the opportunity, Fitzroy now, where are they going to get their goals from? Gareth Phillips' second goal joins uh, Jared Pretty and Lee Brennan as dual goal kickers. Now the goal kicker, Dylan Murphy, and Rupert with a score of 7 10 52. Fitzroy 1 5 11. Almost 20 and a half minutes. In the time, not 20 and a half minutes ticked over the second. Ball up back in the centre. Donald in there. Jumping high. Probably give it to Regan. Adam Walsh in hard off the square. Good work. Scrappy bit of play there. Fortunately, ending up with a Fitzroy goal. Fortunate for them, unfortunate group. So they kicked their second. 21, uh, coming up towards 22 minutes on the Villa with scoreboard. Rupert for leading 7 10 52. Fitzroy 2 5 17. Yeah, look, that's probably one we didn't need, but uh, they're going to score goals in the debris, so now we've just got to make sure we batten down the hatches for the next eight or nine minutes. Fitzroy could work out in the centre. He kicks their third goal. They go to 3-5-23. Rupert 7-10-52. 
Gav said to the boys before the game, the game would ebb and flow, and probably you know, a fair bit with the breeze and everything. So just expect that. So hopefully listen to him and they just hold their, hold their composure and, and just keep going, doing what they've been doing. Fitzroy player running back, handballing out to Atherton. Good smother there by Phillips. That was Justin Phillips. Comes forward to Rush. Rush a quick kick out. No one to go to, unfortunately. Set Tommy West a bit of a task over there amongst two Fitzroy players. Fitzroy win the footy. Oh, poor handball. Back to Gareth Phillips. Gareth Phillips looking forward, looking for Lee Brennan. In the position against Parkinson. Brennan working hard the footy. In there, Gav Moore also knocking the ball forward. Shane Bishop picking up the footy. Handball over the top, unfortunately, to no one. Bishop in with another good tackle. Good pressure. Brennan also with a good tackle. Bishop and Brennan, good body work there. Well, that was terrific. That was great play by Rupert's Wood. Two on about six, three on six, and they forced a turnover. Now we've got chance, a chance to get numbers for the contest, and we can get a shot on goal. At 24 minutes into the second quarter. Fillerwood scoreboard reading 7-10 to 3-5 deep in Rupert's Wood's forward line. Away, two free kicks there for mine. He won't pay him. And we'll have another ball up half forward for Rupert's foot. Jesse Rush did not to be paid the mark. Tommy West did not to get a high tackle. Anyway, ball up at half forward for Rupert's foot. Knocked out by Fitzroy. Throw out there by Cale. The umpire spotted this one, I think. Free kick going to Rupert's foot. Handball by Gav Moore over to Gareth Phillips. But gone too early. We'll go back to Mill. Mill with a short kick, a lot of up and under under the footy, and Justin Phillips pushing back courageously, marking about 50 out. Kicking across the breeze, kicking the ball towards the hot spot. High footy, get under that, Lee Brennan. Uh, free kick against Brennan, coming from behind, going to Fitzroy. Going to O'Reilly, O'Reilly handballing the ball. Fitzroy player moving the ball down the wing, Hayden Spinner over the back. Strength. Didn't, didn't get sucked down. A good quick handball from Hayden out to Luke Spinner. Luke Spinner up to Tommy West. Tommy West takes on the tackle. Quick handball to Gareth Phillips. Gareth Phillips, quick handball back to Hayden Spinner. Hayden Spinner kicking the forward line. Justin Phillips. But over the back, but a good strong mark for the Fitzroy player. I want to go on at all occasions, Fitzroy. Trying to run the ball with handball. Comes out to Baker. Baker with a handball in the centre. Handball out towards Polidoros. Tommy West with a tackle. Ball coming forward again, Adam Wells chasing, knocked on to Biggs. Biggs going back inside, wrapped up in a tackle, handball coming out towards Baker. Baker goes back in again. Good pressure by the Rupertswood players, mentioned it, Gav Mool. Gav Mool out to Gareth Phillips. Gareth Phillips takes them on, down towards half forward. Lee Brennan needs a good bounce. Two Fitzroy players competing there, taken there by Parkinson. Eventually relieves out to Seddon. Seddon around the wing towards Callagher. Callagher by himself for Fitzroy. Kicking the ball in towards the centre of the ground. Mark taken by Dullard. Dullard to Fitzroy, looking to kick ball deep in the forward line. Kicking out, Dave Collins, across for Rupert's Wood. Working out there with Jared Plummer and with Scotty Bradley. Handball comes out to Atherton, has a shot for goal, misses to the near side, unfortunately, for Fitzroy. Good passage to play, though. They kick their six behind, they go to 3 6 24. And the middle of the scoreboard, Rupert's Wood 7 10 52, just over 27 minutes into the second quarter. Yeah, no, nice piece of play from, from Fitzroy, rebound up the back line. Lucky for us, they've scored a point. So hopefully three, minutes, three or four minutes to go. Let's see if we can hold him out. Whitehead with a kick in sees Gav Moore. It's a fair kick to get to him. Ball comes over the back and it's marked by the Fitzroy players. Always always in the right spot there, Polidorus. Polidorus with Fitzroy kicking the ball in towards Dullard. Ball carries Paul and sorry, Paul carries him. And Brad Whitehead found 
throw in. Deep in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Fitzroy, 27 minutes ticked over. Scotty hit the ball with a bit of pace and spread the ball, forced the tackle to go. Well, well done. Get across the ground, don't know if I like it, but it does kick the ball short. Marked in the goal square by Hayden Spinner. Hayden Spinner wants to draw a player, does. Dave Collins, ordinary hand for. Collins is back to Whitehead. Whitehead down the line to Luke Spinner. Good work, worked the ball out well. Luke Spinner sucking up a bit of time on the far wing, goes down the wing. King over Josh Hindshead. Fine knocking the ball over to Bishop. Bishop takes on a tackle. And probably gone, eventually gets his foot to it, but too long. Free kick, good tackle there by Seddon and Fitzroy. 28 and a half minutes ticked over as Seddon gets a free kick smack on the wing, found the scoreboard. He has to go back over his mark by the umpire. Handballs the ball off to O'Reilly. O'Reilly in the centre corridor, kicking the ball long, disciplined kick, smart kick. Jarrett Plummer over the back reading it well. Oh, it's hell up and ball tackle. Anyway, umpire lets it go. Scotty Bradley, great desperation over the footy. Good work, Scotty Bradley, forcing a uh, ball up. About 25 metres out from the pitch. Yeah, I was watching Jarrett Plummer and Dave Collins before the ball come in. They just had great position. The, the two loosies for Rupo and they just really put themselves in dangerous positions. It's really good stuff. Smiley there. Ball comes out of the pitch. Quick snap. Looking good. The bird it is. Goal from nothing there for Fitzroy. Kicked by Gaff. Uh, was it? it was kicked by Clark actually, 16. That's Fitzroy's fourth at the 29 and a half minute mark on the Villawood scoreboard. Rupert's now leading 1752 to Fitzroy, 4-6-3. Love the siren, Gas. Yeah, that'll be enough for the first half, I think. Nick, yeah, goal from nothing there for Fitzroy. Although they have attacked, they have attacked and they've tried to kick the ball to the attacking side, so uh, four goals probably a fair result. Four back by Fitzroy, Collins making a contest here, ball comes over the back, Plummer tracking the ball towards the boundary line, takes the footy, got no one to go to, absolutely, handballs over the top, looking for Pottlezak, Bradley working over the tackle, ball comes over, taken by Stoltz, Stoltz kicking to the hot spot, Hine there for Rupertswood, eventually doesn't concede a point, keeps the footy in, he's got no one to go to, only Lee Brennan about 50 metres away, Brennan pushing up for him, attacks the ball well, out of bounds would probably be a good result, and it is at the 30 and a half minute mark in the second quarter. Rupert's been leading 7 10 52, Fitzroy 4 6 30. Boundary throw in, Fitzroy tapping the ball hard, clearing the ball. Brad Whitehead up and under kick, it's probably going to fall on Lou Brennan's head here with a bit of luck. He can't mark it. Good contest there. Brennan hacking the ball off the ground towards Walsh. Taking the ball, Atherton for Fitzroy, kicking the ball in towards the centre of the ground. Murphy underneath, taking mark there as Polidorus wants to go, does. Handballs the ball out towards Megan. Megan with a give off. Kick forward by Fitzroy, mark there by Dullard. This looking promising for Fitzroy. Dullard squaring the ball. Got a lot of carry on. Scotty Bradley, good pressure. Ball comes over the back to Jared Plummer, mopping up again. He'll probably give the hands off to McPhee, he does. McPhee running onto the footy. Difficult picking up the ball on the hard ground. Good work. Scotty Bradley coming in to help. Ball comes forward to Phillips, knocking the ball towards the boundary line. Taken there by Fitzroy's Baker, handballed in towards the top, top of the scrub. Looks to be a bad bounce. Collins gets a bad bounce, bouncing over everyone's head. Taken by Fitzroy, good work there by Gallus. Handball coming back in towards McKay. Quick kick forward by McKay, out of bounds on the full. And at the almost the 32 minute mark into the second quarter, a free kick to Rivertswood in the back pocket. Got to maintain possession now, Gary. Just got to come down the line, force it out of bounds. Just two up and seven. Fitzroy players, oh, almost a Fitzroy mark, taken by White, it doesn't know where to go, and saved by the siren as the handball came out to Dullard, siren's gone, the other umpires heard it first, the other umpires, there'll be no score, 
The other umpires heard the, heard the siren go. So the score at half time will be Rippertwood 7 10 52 to Fitzroy 4 6 30. Yeah, good half of football. I think Rippertwood will be really pleased with that result. 17 scoring shots, so to, to 10. So I think they've really dominated the play for most of the time. Probably for a 7 or 8 minute mark uh, point there. Fitzroy got a bit of momentum, but that, that's to be expected. Yep. Yeah, good, good rally by Fitzroy towards the end, but uh, Rippertwood. 22 point lead at half time. And we'll send Mick into this little speech at two and a half time break. Put some quick stats from Ray Spitter. We'll be back to full.